How are you doing guys? Umkar here for Simple Snippets. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn Bank Reconciliation Statement. So here we begin. Bank Reconciliation Statement is not such part of accounting process, but it is still prepared. Everyone needs to know that there are no differences in various statements shown as on same date in balances of money. But cash book and passbook often show various balances as on same date that is on same time. So bank reconciliation statement is a statement which shows reasons which shows reasons for differences in bank balances as per books of accounts that is cash book. We have already seen cash book and while preparing cash book there is one column bank column we ascertain bank balance in cash book. So bank balance as per cash book as per our books of accounts and bank balance as shown in passbook that is books of accounts of bank as on particular day. So first of all bank reconciliation statement is as on particular day and not for the entire period and it is prepared to know reasons why there is difference in balance of money as per books of accounts that is cash book and bank balance as shown in passbook. This is how format of bank reconciliation statement first we would begin with balance as per cash book as on cash book we have written here but this cash book balance means bank balance as per cash book and not the cash balance so it is bank balance as per cash book we will begin with bank balance as per cash book then we will add transactions that would increase balance in passbook and we will deduct transactions that would decrease balance in passbook and we will land up to balance as per passbook as on. Now what is the logic behind it? We are beginning the balance as per cash book and we have to land on balance as per passbook. So if there is entry which is not there in cash book but there is in passbook and such entry increases bank balance then we have to add that transaction. Vice versa if there is a transaction which is there in cash book but not in passbook but which increase the bank balance then we have to deduct such transaction because that is not there in passbook and we have to land up on passbook balance. So here we will go in simple and logical way yet there are other methods to do bank reconciliation statement but this is the more logical and simple way of doing bank reconciliation statement. So we would take one example on it to get things more clearer. Here is one illustration from the following particulars prepare bank reconciliation statement of Daya as on 31st May 2017. So we would begin with format now. So here we begin bank reconciliation statement as on 31st May 2017. We would start with bank balance as per cash book as on 31st May 2017. You can note here one thing that there is no need to start always with cash book balance. You can start also with passbook balance but it is advisable that you should start with cash book balance. So bank balance as per cash book we would add certain things and we would deduct some things and after this we would land up in bank balance as per passbook as on 31st May 2017. While solving this example you will come to know what are the reasons by which there comes a difference between bank balance as per cash book and bank balance as per passbook on same day itself and how to deal with such situation to assure that bank balance in both the books are correct. So though there is difference in both the books it is not that one book shows correct balance and other shows incorrect balance but both books are correct but there are some reasons due to which there is a difference and this is the statement which lays down all such reasons and give us a correct picture that why there is such difference. First the bank overdraft as per cash book on 31st May 2017 is rupees 6340. So we have given bank balance as per cash book as 6340. But note that this balance is overdraft. If it would have normal balance then we would have written in this way but as this is overdraft we would return it in negative. So here comes the bracket for it. Whereas bank overdraft as per passbook on the same day 
is 6332. So on the same day, passbook shows balance 6332 negative because it is overdraft. Second, interest on overdraft for six months ending 31st May 2017. Rupees one sixty is entered in passbook. Now, first of all, interest on overdraft is an expense for us, and expense is entered in passbook. That is, it is not there in cash book. So, expense which is not there in cash book would increase the cash book balance. So, if we have to land in passbook balance, then we will have to deduct this one sixty expense. because it is not reflecting in cash book so in cash book we would say first interest on overdraft unrecorded in cash book amount is rupees 160 third is bank charges of rupees 30 are debited in pass book only this is also the same case that those are bank charges expenses for us but which are there in pass book not in cash book so if we have to land on pass book balance then we have to decrease our cash book balance by 30 rupees so we are going to deduct this 30 rupees we are going to less this 30 rupees so bank charges debited in pass book only amount is 30 rupees checks issued but not cashed prior to 31st may 2017 amounted to rupees 1168 now here we have issued the checks that is in cash book we have recorded this 1168 as expense but the one to whom we have given those checks he has not put those checks in bank so that's why our pass book shows more balance now here if we have to land up on pass book balance we will have to add this rupees 1168 because it is an expense which has been recorded in cash book but not in pass book so we will add checks issued but not cash amount is 1168 rupees next checks paid into bank but not clear before 31st may 2017 where rupees 2170 this transaction is other way round we have received some checks from someone we have given those checks to bank which means we have entered those receipts into our bank account of cash book so cash book balance is more by 2170 which means pass book balance is less by 2170 so to land up on pass book balance we would have to deduct this 2170 rupees so we would write checks deposited but not cleared amount is rupees 2170 now last one interest on investment collected by the bank and credited in the pass book rupees 1200 it means we are having income of 1200 which is received by our bank but we are unknown of that as on 31st may so that's why there is difference in balance now this 1200 we have not recorded in cash book to land up on pass book balance we will have to add this 1200 because pass book has recorded this receipt so we would write here interest on investments directly credited into bank rupees 1200 now we would take total of both 2 Three six eight and two three six zero. So now to cross check, we will we would see six three four zero negative plus two three six eight minus two three six zero, which comes to nothing but six three three two rupees. Now other way round, if we would have started with bank balance as per pass book, so here we see it how we would have done. Bank balance as per pass book, we would have taken six three three two overdraft as first, and then we would have added all those transaction which are deducted here. So we would have added two three six zero rupees, and we would have deducted all those transactions which are added here two three six eight, and we would have lined up on bank balance as per cash book, which is nothing but six three four zero as overdraft. So that's all, guys, for this tutorial. Keep watching videos. Share them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.